क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी सिक्स कंपाउंड विच कैन नॉट एक्ट एज अ रेड्यूसिंग एजेंट इज इट मीन्स द सब्सटेंस विच कैन नॉट बी ऑक्सीडाइज फर्दर वॉट डज इट मीन इट मीन्स इट कैन नॉट इंक्रीज इट्स ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर इट मीन्स द एलिमेंट इज प्रेजेंट देयर इन द कंपाउंड विच इज इन हाइएस्ट ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट दैट कैन नॉट इंक्रीज इट्स ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर एंड दैट कैन नॉट एक्ट एज a good reducing agent or simply which can not act as a reducing agent so we have to check here the oxidation numbers of the elements present here if we talk about this hclo4 where is hclo4 and in this case chlorine atom is there and its oxidation number we'll find out that is plus 1 plus x minus 8 is equal to 0 so what would be the value of x that is plus 7 it means chlorine is there in the maximum oxidation state it cannot increase its oxidation number more than plus 7 and that is why it cannot oxidize itself and reduce other substance that's why this is the correct option but we'll check here the oxidation number of the chlorine atom present in other compounds also this is hclo3 in this case the oxidation number of the chlorine is plus 5 if you calculate you will find it but if i talk about hclo2 in this case oxidation number of chlorine is plus 3 while in case of hclo the oxidation number of the chlorine is plus 1 so all of other species can extend their oxidation number can act as reducing agent but hclo4 cannot so i'll choose option 1 as the correct option for this question i hope this question is clear to you let's take next question now question number 57 the volume of oxygen gas liberated at ntp from 30 ml of 20 volume h2o2 solution is in this question the condition is ntp that's given and 30 ml of 20 volume h2o2 solution is given it means in this case you have the strength of h2o2 that is 20 volume what does it mean it means that on decomposition at ntp 1 liter of h2o2 solution gives 20 ml of oxygen then we say it is 20 volume h2o2 solution this is the volume strength of h2o2 basically now in this question you need to just find out the volume of oxygen gas liberated at ntp from 30 ml of 20 volume h2o2 solution it means the simple thing it is initially you have 1000 ml or the 1 liter simply of 20 volume h2o2 gives 20 liter of oxygen this is happening at ntp this is the process how much amount of h2o2 you have you have 30 ml of h2o2 that has the same volume strength that is 20 volume so the oxygen that would be liberated here would be 20 divided by 1000 into 30 and this value is equal to point 6 liter yes if it is so the correct answer becomes option 1 so just choose option 1 as your correct option after that question number 58 is here among given ions maximum mobility in aqueous solution is of if we talk about all these ions these are again the ions of alkaline earth metal and if you arrange them on the basis of their ionic size this is be2 plus the smallest ion it is while if we talk about strontium ion this is the largest size ion now you are just preparing the aqueous solution of these ions and smaller the size of ion more would be the process of hydration there it means the size of hydrated ion would be maximum and maximum size of ion results in its minimum mobility so we need to just find out that ion which forms smallest sized hydrated ion in aqueous solution that would have maximum mobility so in this case if i talk about strontium ion its ionic size in general cases the biggest one but in aqueous solution 
its least hydration occur due to which its size is the smallest one the size of hydrated ion is the smallest one in this case and definitely in this case its ionic mobility is maximum it means the process of hydration always plays an important role to identify the mobility of a particular ion in aqueous solution in this way option 4 is the correct option let's take next question question number 59 which of the following is a neutral oxide we have carbon monoxide that's a neutral oxide actually while if i talk about sno sno2 al2o3 this sno is stannous oxide and stannic oxide we have aluminum oxide we have these all are amphoteric oxide so only one oxide is neutral here that is carbon monoxide and that becomes your correct answer also question number 60 which among the following is the most stable carbocation if we talk about the stability of a carbocation that depends on the dispersal of the positive charge more stable carbocation would be that carbocation in which that positive charge can be dispersed to the different i atoms that can be understood on the basis of two ways one is the hyperconjugation other is the inductive effect if you look at the third option there is the tertiary carbocation three methyl groups are there all of these are creating plus i effect it means electron releasing effect to neutralize this positive charge and it becomes most stable one similarly if i talk about hyperconjugation in this case there are total nine hyperconjugated structures can be found nine no bond resonating structures because it has total nine alpha hydrogen atom just have a look on that three here Three here and three here. Total nine alpha hydrogen in this case. While if I talk about the second option in this case, there are three plus three. Total six alpha hydrogen. Less hyperconjugation as compared to this. So the most stable would be third one. This is the tertiary carbocation. That's why it is the correct one. I'm just choosing option three as the correct option. After that, 